Shalom and good morning again and welcome to our morning devotion insight. And uh, this morning I want to share with you how to handle stress. Uh, text is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8 to 10. And it says this, We are hard-pressed uh, on every side but not crushed, perplexed but not in despair, persecuted but not abandoned, struck down but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. You know, stress is a very prevalent factor uh, in our society and we need to know how to handle stress. Correct, Nana? Huh? So, what is stress? Well, stress is just mental or physical tension or strain. You know, we felt that uh, we are just so com- so compressed, like just Paul was saying, you know, uh, just press, press on all sides. Uh, pressure, pressure. Uh, a mentally or emotionally disruptive or disquieting influence. So it means that it's just that uh, we, 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 we just find it's overwhelming. Huh? And then what causes stress? Okay, people will cause us stress sometimes. Work, family, you know, maybe our spouse, our uh, children, uh, ministry, church. Problems will uh, give us stress, you know, and health. And also, of course, if you're a young person, uh, college, school, and uh, all these re- relationships, etc., will also give us stress. So we want to find out how uh, do we handle stress. Okay, just imagine the word S T R E S S. All right, that's going to be an acronym. And so I'm going to use that acronym, and I'm sure you will remember it. And so every time when you go through stress, then you just spell this out, this uh, word out, uh, and then you remember uh, that uh, these are the tips that we can learn. First is S. Uh, S means that we need to surrender. When we are going through stressful times, we need to surrender. In fact, in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 says, Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. Uh, 1 Peter 5, 7 says, uh, Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. So casting off our anxieties, uh, all our worries, all our concerns on Him because He really cares for me. He really cares for you. So sometimes even when I go through times when I'm very stressed out, you know, I will always always remember, quote this verse to myself, you know, and say, cast all my anxiety, cast all my cares uh, to the Lord, for He cares for me. All right? And Psalm 55 verse 22 also says, cast your cares on the Lord and He will sustain you. Uh, Psalm 55 verse 22 says, cast all your cares on the Lord and He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. I love this verse too. Uh, he will sustain us. So we learn to surrender. We learn to cast it, cast it to the Lord. You know, not bearing it all, but casting it to the Lord. Secondly, is T is thanksgiving. You know, First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18 says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So thank God for everything. I know it's very difficult. Hmm? How to thank God for bad health, you know, how to thank God for uh, bad situations or unforeseen situations, how to thank God for uh, uh, things that I don't even like to, uh, to manage, you know. Uh, it's stressful. I, I, I find difficulty, but I have learned that the Word of God says give thanks. You know, there was one time, you know, I was just uh, so convicted that, you know, the Lord just reminded me, why do every morning when you make, wake up a Marian, just learn to give thanks, just learn to praise Him. And I tried doing that and it helps me a lot because I have better perspective for the whole day. So thank God in everything, no matter what the circumstances may be, be thankful. Huh? So first is surrender, second is thanksgiving. Uh, so that means it tells us that we need to continue uh, to, th- to thank God. Uh, there's another scripture and it's found in Psalm 30 verse 12 and it says that my heart may sing to you and not be silent. Uh, oh Lord my God, I will give thanks forever. Give thanks forever. Practice this. Learn this discipline. Try it. Uh, because sometimes if we never try and then we, never, we keep all this stress all bottled up, uh, it's not going to help us. Uh, so we say we want to learn to have thanksgiving. Third is that our rest. We need to rest in the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. Uh, Psalm 62 verse... Uh, in fact, the whole Psalm you can read, but I'm going to just... Uh, Just quote verse 1 and 2 and 5 and 6. It says, verse 1 says, My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from Him. Then verse 2 says, He alone is my rock and my salvation. He's my fortress 
I will never be shaken. Verse 5 says, Find rest, O my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from Him. And verse 6 says, He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. So we find rest in Him. Uh, in fact, uh, in Psalm 23, it says, you know, we find rest in the shepherd who will lead us beside still waters. Uh, we find rest because we know that we need to learn to be still and know that He is God. Amen. So the next one is that uh, S T R E. Another E is endurance. Uh, chapter uh, uh, verse chapter twelve of Hebrews seven. Uh, Hebrews chapter twelve verse seven says, "Endure hardship as discipline." God is treating you as sons. Uh, so and Second Timothy chapter two verse three says, "Endure hardships with us like a good soldier of Jesus Christ." So we endure. I mean, so we don't want to be so lambed, lambed every time or so it's like a cry baby. No, we can by God's grace. In fact, Paul says, you know, when I'm weak, then I'm strong. Huh? And God's grace is more than sufficient for us. We are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. So we endure. Because in enduring, there is the building of character. There's the building of being able to see a bigger picture. All right? Then there's an S. Stand firm and stand on the on his promises. Stand firm and stand on his promises. Psalm 145, verse 13 says, The Lord is faithful to all his promises and loving toward all he has made. Huh? So James 5, verse 8 says, You too be patient and stand firm because the Lord's coming is near. Stand firm. Stand firm and stand on God's promises. If God promises us that He will never leave us nor forsake us, then agree with Him. Believe that He will never leave us nor forsake us. If God promises that He is Jehovah Jireh, He is Jehovah Jireh and He will be able to provide for us. And if God promises that He is Jehovah Shammah, the Lord is there, then He is and He will be with us. Huh? And if he's, the Lord is Jehovah Nisi, He says it in His word, He is our banner. He fights for us in our battles. Amen. And the last S is submit to Him. Huh? Submit to Him. James 4 verse 7 says, Submit yourselves then to God. Huh? So be subject to God. Submit to God. Sometimes in life, we, we cannot manage a lot of things. We, we cannot manage everything. And sometimes it's draining because we try to manage it ourselves. So we tell ourselves, this is beyond me. Some things in our lives we are so stressed out is because we're trying to solve all our problems on our own. Uh, why don't we tell ourselves, you know, God, you know, I'm going to learn to uh, allow you to help me. Uh, so how to handle stress? First is S is surrender. Uh, learn to surrender. T is thanksgiving. Learn to give thanks. It's difficult, but learn to give thanks. R is learn to rest. Uh, find that rest in Him. Uh, even though a storm, find that rest in Him. Then E is endure. Endure it. And then you see yourself coming out stronger, better, more mature. Then there's an S. Stand firm and stand on His promises. And the last S is submit to God. Because God draws near to those who are humble, who are willing to submit to Him. Amen. So you have a great day. And uh, may we all learn to be able to say, God, uh, even though we're going to go, we are going through this uh, season where there's so much of stress. But Lord, we know that you will help us through. Amen. God bless you. Amen.